In this Wix tutorial, let's take a look at how to edit the header. So inside of your Wix editor, you're going to see these different sections of your site. And if you hover over the top, you'll see the header as well. Now the header can be expanded with this orange uh, up and down arrow. So you can expand your header out and make it whatever size that you want. You can also just put elements in your header, or if you have existing elements, like in this case, I have a horizontal menu and a logo on the left, as well as a strip that kind of contains all of those, you can edit those elements as well. So I can come in here and edit the text of these elements. I can uh, change these images for this logo. I can just remove all of this completely, and I can make any edits to this that I want. But let's say I just wanted to completely uh, trash this header that's here and start over. What I would do is just click on the element that contains everything, which should be this strip here, and press the delete key. I can also right click and go to delete. And now there's nothing in my header, and you can see here it says, do you want to add some elements? And I do, I want to make a centered header. And so I'm going to expand the header a little bit down, and then I'm going to start to add elements. And so that will pop open the add elements uh, section over here in your editor. And from here, I'd like to add a menu. So I'm going to come down to Menu and Anchor. And we have some different horizontal menus, some different themed menus. Uh, in this case, I like this just plain one. So I'm going to use this themed menu and kind of click and drag it out here. And it says Attach to Header. So any element that you place in your header is going to show up on all pages. I want to make sure this is centered. So I'm going to go over here to my Tools, pull open my toolbar, and then click on this element. And make sure that over here, in this alignment area, I actually have center aligned. And so that centers that element on my page. Now I wanna add a logo on top of it. And so I'm gonna go over to my elements again, and we're gonna add an image. In this case, you can upload an image or maybe find an image from your uh, existing assets that are on your website already. So we could click upload, or I even have site images here, and I could just click and drag this logo out and attach it to the header. That's going to be a little bit big, so we're going to scale this down a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing in my tool panel. With that element selected, I'm going to align that to the center. Now it pushed down the header because when I inserted it, it was too large. So we can just drag that header back up a little bit. And so now we have this logo uh, right above this menu here. And the horizontal menu, you can scale in and out as well. And so I can get that to fit just right make sure I have it centered. And there we go, I've got a logo on top of a menu now, and I've just changed my header. We can even go preview that to see our new header. And we have this and a little drop down over here and everything uh, works with this menu. And so we've changed the header completely here in the editor, but it's pretty easy. You know, the header just exists up here, any element you drag in there. You can also quick edit the header and so if you do have anything in there that's like text or different elements, you can manage them over here, change imagery, uh, or reorder the, the menu as well. Now, if you notice, there was one error that we had, and we'll fix that really quick. And so this horizontal menu was a little bit too narrow to have the dropdown come down below about. So there's actually a dropdown menu here underneath about. And so what I would want to do is kind of scale this out a little bit and we'll re or, or recenter this guy. And let's see if that worked to allow enough space to drop down the next uh, drop down menu. And so we're going to go preview this and see if this works out. It might not. And so it, it kind of drops down over here. And so we probably need to find a different element in here to debug this little uh, issue that we're having. The issue is likely in the layout of the drop down menu. So if I select this menu here and go to layout, we're going to see drop down as an option. And in here, yeah, we want the menu to fly out rather than dropping down in columns. So I'm going to fly it out from the about page or wherever we click. And so now you can actually see that. But if we go to preview, now this menu drops down from the uh, links that we're hovering over. And so that's, that works now. Uh, but we can go back to the editor. And so if you're running into any issues or anything with your headers or menus, that's kind of how to get through them, go into the settings, go into the layout, the design, and then you could just add elements and attach them to your header, and those will show up on every page. 
And that's how you can edit the header here on Wix.